would ignite in the most nationalistic race event of all, the 1938 German Grand Prix. What's this Englishman doing here? Why do we need him? What's he doing in our cars? He's an incomer. He's a foreigner. Dick was very soon in third place and then moved up into second behind fellow teammate Hermann Lang. But when Lang called into the pits, Dick took the lead. When Dick stopped for a tyre change, von Brauhitsch took over the lead. Von Brauhitsch had been the fastest in practice and favourite to win. Drivers raced to team instructions and Dick was expected to follow the senior drivers. Dick was an Englishman in a team that had to deliver a German victory. And now von Brauhitsch was destined to win. The perfect victory. From a military family, von Brauhitsch had all the credentials. His uncle had just been appointed army commander-in-chief by Hitler. There was no way that Brauch was not going to win the 1938 German Grand Prix until he came in for a refueling stop. On lap 16, von Brauhitsch pulled into the pits and Dick pulled in close behind him. But then von Brauhitsch's car caught fire. Dick waited. And you see him react to the fire ahead and then you see a different reaction come across his face and the different reaction is I could win this and he gestures get me started get me out and they restart his car and he pulls out and goes past Brownage and goes off into the lead Dick went on to win over two minutes ahead of the field This was rather embarrassing because, of course, this was the premier race in Germany and it was supposed to be a German victory. And here was this English driver. Against all odds, Dick had achieved the greatest impossibility. He had won the German Grand Prix. began to fall apart, Dick's romance with Erica blossomed. In the wake of his Grand Prix victory, Dick had found happiness with his beautiful young heiress. Dick's friend Aldi and his young family came over to stay at their nearby chalet and remember the happy days they spent with Dick and Erica. As a four-year-old, it was a lot of screaming and shouting and um, being dangled over a, a water butt, pretending I was going to be ducked and that sort of thing, which was always fun. But uh, Erica, who is not much older than we were, certainly in spirit, she was the one who flushes off to picnics in the fields and things, which was always very nice. For the first time in Dick's racing career, his mother recognised the scale of his success. Mrs Beattie Seaman set off by train for Munich to come and share in the celebrations. Dick introduced her to Erica. She met Erica and understandably was bowled over by her because clearly Erica was charismatic and gorgeous and charming and lovely. And initially Mrs. Seaman was clearly enchanted. Mrs. Beatty Seaman was further bowled over when she was taken to see the weekly newsreel at the cinema showing her son's victory. I think she was overwhelmed by the experience of sitting in a German picture house and watching the German audience's reaction to the German newsreel showing Der Englander winning the German Grand Prix. And she was just immensely proud of him. But the images of an all-powerful new Germany confirmed to Dick's mother all her worst fears. Her son was driving for a country heading for war. When she learned that Dick was in love with Erica, and wanted to become engaged, her attitude to Erica changed. I don't think she had anything against Erica as a person. I think it was more a hangover from the First World War and the conflict and knowing people being killed and thinking that if another war came, have an Englishman married to a German, it would cause divided loyalties and possibly some stress. But probably she was just too 
too strict in her thinking. When Mrs. Beatty Seaman had returned to London, Dick asked Erica to marry him. Her family were delighted. Dick's mother did everything to stop it taking place. She realised that here was someone else who was going to keep him away from her. And she became very antagonistic towards Erica. And it all became really unpleasant. As the two lovers grew closer together, their two countries grew further apart. Having already gained Austria, Hitler now stood poised to reclaim the Sudetenland, the stepping stone to Czechoslovakia. Britain stood on the brink of war. On September the 15th, 1938, Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain flew to Germany to meet with Hitler. For two weeks, Europe held its breath. In the middle of this crisis, Dick and Erica officially announced their engagement in London. Unwelcome at Dick's mother's house, they celebrated with the Aldingtons. Mrs. Beatty objected so strongly to the marriage that they held their engagement party at our house, to which she refused to come. No agreement was reached in the Seaman household. Dick's mother opposed his marriage and made it clear that she never wanted to see Erica in her house ever again. For Dick, marriage and motor racing were going ahead. Despite rumours of imminent war, the German teams arrived at Donington Park for the 1938 Grand Prix. But as the political crisis heightened, the cars, under a veil of secrecy, were recalled to Germany. Their teams were given orders to destroy them should war break out. As political negotiations wavered, Britain prepared for war. On the 30th of September 1938, Neville Chamberlain returned from Munich, proclaiming peace in our time. The German teams turned around and headed back to Donington. On the day of the Grand Prix, all eyes were focused on Dick. As the only Englishman in a German team, Dick's diplomatic skills now extended beyond his own family. He chauffeured the Duke of Kent around the circuit before introducing him to the German team amidst Nazi salutes. Facing such weak competition, the race was another battle between the German teams. Dick spun off the track and lost valuable time. But he clawed his way back, finishing third. He was awarded the British Racing Drivers Club Gold Star for winning the German Grand Prix. There was no praise from his mother, just an ultimatum. That if his wedding went ahead, he would not inherit anything from his father's will and could expect nothing from her. Dick's control over his mother had gone. He could not persuade her to attend his wedding. She would never see him again. Dick and Erica were married at Caxton Hall Registry Office in London on December the 7th, 1938. The event was celebrated without Mrs. Beatty Seaman. After their reception, they left for Germany to their new chalet, a wedding present from Erica's parents. Dick had a new contract for 1939, but when there were only three cars available, he was the reserve driver. The Daimler Benz management, possibly with an eye on the political situation, were not giving Dick drives. He wasn't getting out in the car, and when he did get out in the car, it wasn't very good. 